that's what that's what this team's about. You know, we've had our backs against this against the wall, you know, all year long. You know, with injuries and setbacks and. You know, things just kind of not rolling our way, you know, so this is nothing new to the team. You know, like I've told you guys before, you know, you know, stranger things have happened in baseball. You guys put a couple of runs on the board tonight, but again, had trouble getting that big hit. Why do you think the offense has stalled so much this series? It's tough to say, you know, we're facing good pitching. We just weren't, like you said, we get guys on base, but we're just missing that one big hit. And you know, that's the thing Houston was able to do tonight is they got their big hits when they had, you know, some traffic on the, on the bases. So, uh, yeah, we just got to regroup and, you know, let's go back to playing our game. You know, what got us here was, you know, we were able to put the ball in play, move guys over, score guys when, you know, they're out there on the pond. So, um, yeah, we just got to take care of business. Do you get the sense that because guys have been struggling, they're trying to do too much out there? It's just tough to say. You know, I can't really talk for everybody, you know. But um, the biggest thing, what made this team so good is we control the zone. Like I've told you guys about 18,000 times, you know, what makes us good is we control the zone and do damage when we get pitches in the zone. So, you know, we just got to go back to doing that and just keep playing baseball. You know, that's all it is. You know, we're down right now, but uh, still got a lot of games to play. It's a big challenge. When you're, it's a big challenge when you have to win three games. How do you approach it starting tomorrow? One pitch at a time. That's how it starts. You know, you can't think of the long. Can't, can't be thinking about game six and seven. You got to get through, you know, this next game. You know, that's the biggest thing. But uh, the biggest thing is just slowing the game down, just taking it one pitch at a time. You know, even if we go down early or we get an early lead, we still got to treat it like it's a, you know, zero zero ball game and just keep going from pitch to pitch. You know, if we keep trying to win every single pitch, you know, we'll, we'll be where we want to be at the end of the game. What's going through your mind when you saw CC go out there and then how he left the game? Yeah, when CC was coming in, I knew he was going to come through, you know, for us. You know, he's been in bigger situations than that and always comes through. And, um, man, he, he, he leaves it all on the field. You know, I, I don't know what's, what's, you know, severity of what's going on with him. But, you know, you can never say that that man never, you know, gave his all. You know, every, every single time he went out there, he, he had to rip the ball, rip his jersey off to get him off that mound. And, you know, he got everything out of that arm. And. Yeah, that's that's a warrior right there. You know, that's why he's been the leader of this team for so many years, and that's why he has so much respect around the game and you know in the stadium. And um, no, it was it was tough to see, but that's that's our leader, man. He left it all out there. Aaron Booney talked about how you guys talked after the game uh, when he was just meeting with the media. How helpful was that? You think in this moment as you guys move forward, he talked about having to wash it off for today and get back tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's, that's you gotta have a, a short memory here in baseball, you know, especially after a game like that. You know, we're we're able to get the job done, you know, at the plate and you know, a couple, you know, errors in the field. You know, we gotta, you know, wash it out and you know, get ready for tomorrow. And that's the biggest thing is, you know, we can't sit around here and mope up about this game or the past couple of games. We gotta, you know, refocus and you know, refuel and get ready for the, the game tomorrow. Aaron, you faced the Astros before. What, are they pitching you guys differently? What has made them so maybe difficult to hit right now? Their approach, or whatever. It might be. Yeah, it's not too many mistakes. You know, that's the biggest thing. You know, we just haven't been getting, you know, that one pitch, you know, out over the plate when we got guys on base. You know, that's just one thing we're missing. So uh, trying to capitalize on those. But I wouldn't say they're pitching us too too different. You know, a lot of off-speed pitches, uh, sneak a fastball in there every now and then. But just got to capitalize. That's the biggest thing. We got to capitalize and we got opportunities. Eric, to win this series, you're going to have to beat Verlander and Cole. How do you accept that challenge? Except like anything else, you know, we got to go out there and just play our game. You know, we focus on what we do, our strengths, and you know what got us here. You know, I think I like our chances. You guys are timely hitting all year. You stranded ten runners. You load the bases two times. Do you feel like you guys got momentum? If you got a couple timely hits, the game could have been different. Can you take that into tomorrow? Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I even think about some of my bats. I had plenty. I had two or three chances with guys on second base. You know, two outs, and you know weren't able to come through and. Those are, those are tough, you know, but um, I got to step up. You know, everybody's got to step up, and we just got to go out there and just take care of business and just do our job.